Hello, my name is Teresita Branca de Arce Sister and today we're doing like the dog photo shoot. So then that means that tomorrow is the Hollow Knight drawing. That's why we're living in schedule or whatever. Just be mellowed out. Tired. It's important to give yourself breaks before you break. Mm -hmm. And not after you break. Yeah. So yeah, monster high though. Like one of my fans said, oh don't pull, don't pull those calorita on like a swimsuit, and then I'd be like, I'm gonna do the exact opposite. <laughs> <laughs> as long as I have swimsuits that will fit her, she's gonna be swimsuit for like the summer months. Cause I'm a bit of a troll. Yeah. This is also why when they complain about the Pride Month flags. And they say, oh, why are you making Pride Month flags? Like and then we get in like a whole month of that. Just... Yeah, we're, we're only gonna do one, but then they complain about it, so then we'll be like a whole month of Pride Month. <laughs> <laughs> like, go ahead, complain about something else again. <laughs> yeah, I dare you to complain. <laughs> Well, who says that she's spending her time sleepy? I, I mean, I hear her. She, that's a uh, opera snoring. She's a. Uh... Oh, she sleeps, uh, but she's like awake. No, she sleeps and she sleep talks. She sleep sings. Oh, stop. But she's not asleep yet. Oh, no wonder they think it. A witch! Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, we went over the story like Yoconda on the last video, so and we're not gonna repeat ourselves. So yeah, you gotta go watch that. But I don't know what this is all about. It's a Victor Hugo thing. Mm -hmm. Victor Hugo made all the things other than Hush Pop and Notre Dame. Yeah. Oh, but also about guys being jerks to women that won't give them any. And the church. <laughs> it's like I mean, the biggest purpose in this your purpose in all Catholics. <laughs> It's what it's, it's what Victor Hugo was uh, trying to convey with his uh, life work. Yeah. He has a lot of stories about uh, a horny Catholic priest going after young girls and and destroying entire villages when they don't give him any. This is another one of those. This one didn't make it into a Disney movie. Yeah. <laughs> and he likes the Gitanos a lot. Yeah. We're gonna use the, t the proper term Gitano, not the, the, the G word, because I don't like it. From Andalusia. That's in Spain. Yeah. Granada, tierra soñada por ti. Mi cantar se vuelve gitano cuando es para ti. Mi cantar noche de melancolía. I don't remember the rest of the song, but that's something that our grandma used to sing to us. So yeah, maybe we got some G, maybe we got some... No, we actually do have Gitano blood. I got, I got my blood tested yeah. in that, that ancestry thing, not spans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. We're Pedro Satos mm -hmm. in, in, in Cuban term. That means that uh, we have a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. Now you're trying to figure out where we're from? No, that was our ethnicity. You we're, know, we're from we're, everywhere. Yeah, we're citizens of the world. We don't get Chinese, we don't get Chinese blood in there. Mm -hmm. Like we are twenty six percent Spanish, a thirty percent Gitano, twelve percent of Hebrew descent of one of the twelve tribes, if you can believe that, so, and uh, ten percent uh, Neanderthal. We have way more Neanderthal blood than we would like to admit. Yeah. <laughs> And like the rest is like from like 30 other different uh, locations. Well, the Neanderthal blood is good because the Neanderthals are the ones who gave the humans the, mm -hmm. the endocrine system. Which is interesting because it also gave us weak stomachs because they, they had difficulty digesting most things, but they have really good immune system. So they eat meat. Yeah. So they were obligate carnivores. Yeah. Oh, then, and like the other percent, they're all uh, African tribes, so like we're. 
at least more than 25% Afro-American. I mean, Afro-Cuban. My yeah. Afro-Cuban. Afro-Cuban. Well, Caribbean. Caribbean is not part of America. It's not attached to the mainland. Yeah. Like, I find it hilarious that here in the U.S., they like, tell people, oh, you're black, therefore Afro-American. No, 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 I'm from Cuba. If anything, we're Afro-Cuban. Like, you, you can't just uh, force us into an ethnicity that doesn't belong to us. And it's like, are you Hispano? And I say, no. No. Were you born in Hispanic countries? Like, uh, not exactly. We're from the Antilles. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, where is that option on your list? <laughs> yeah. We're <laughs> islanders. <laughs> Islanders that Probably love that, where Islanders that love causing trouble. <laughs> yeah, me and I, like, uh, and you know why Islanders, I mean, you guys can see the Cuba almost caused like doomsday, and like Japan, who was also an island, an island nation, they all, they caused war. They were, they Great were, Britain. Like, oh yeah, Great Britain. They slayed half the world. Also Islanders. You gotta be careful with those Islanders. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're very ambitious. Yeah, you're gonna go even further that uh, the lower Antilles they used to control. I mean, not. I mean, sorry. The, the Philippines used to have an islander queen who completely controlled most of China and all of that for like six thousand years before uh, their culture went away. Like islanders, yeah, yeah, you don't underestimate us islanders. Yeah. Like tiny island, big adventures. Yeah. Oh yeah. Sora, we- islander. <laughs> It ripped through all of them worlds out of boredom. Yeah, looking for Rico and Kai. Why are we even talking about Kingdom Hearts? Because he's an islander. Yeah. And, uh, like, I always like, uh, I always like, uh, uh, like, I think, you know, I think Kingdom Hearts kind of like a story of, like, uh, you know, like an immigrant. Because, you know, he leaves his country hoping for adventures for things to get better, but it got worse. And he doesn't fit in his island anymore, but he doesn't fit outside of it either. He just doesn't have a place. And he's just looking for his other immigrant friends who also got lost along the way. Yeah, with in transit. Mm-hmm. And he feels a prisoner inside the island that he was in. Yeah, for the heart seeking freedom, his island is a prison. Surrounded by water. And they were like, like it. Are you, is Sora, is Sora in freaking Cuba? <laughs> Like it's Sora Cuba, cause that sounds like that sounds that sounds like Cuba in a nutshell. That, that should totally be like a narcissist or a, a talk show topic. It's a Sora Cuban. <laughs> yes, he's from Cuba. All right, bye bye, and God bless.